So what's up mga kakote? It's me Kuya Kyle and welcome to Quader News. Where in learning is the name of the game. At kung bago pa lang dito sa YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe, like, and share buttons for more updates and videos. So we have here guys the topic for today. And ang topic natin sa araw na ito ay interpreting graphs. So as you can see sa background, we have their graphs. So, alam ko na nandito kayo para mas ma-lucidate mga grade 7 students kung ano nga ba talaga ang interpreting graphs. So, from the word interpreting graphs, anong pumasok sa isip nyo? Siyempre, ako pag sinabi natin interpreting graphs, uh, it uses interpretation of the graphs kung ano yung certain graph na yun, kung anong kind of graph yun. And, ayun. Ayun yung ititask na sa araw na ito. Pero, bagong lahat, ito muna tayo sa trivia for the day natin. So, ang trivia natin is, M&M stands for Mars and Marie. So, ang M&M, guys, is, siya yung parang chocolate na kinakain natin. Yun. So, it stands for Mars and Marie. Forest Mars son of the Mars company founder first spotted the British confection Smarties during the Spanish Civil War and noticed the candy shell prevented the chocolate from melting he teamed up with Bruce Murray son of Hershey chocolates president and the company later trademarked the melts in your melts in your mouth not in your hands slogan so ayun yung trivia natin for M&M's and next up we have our agenda for today so ang agenda natin is you will know how to use specific types of graphs understanding the importance of graphs and when to use it interpreting graphs so interpreting graphs it involves understanding what the shape of a curve represents in real life situations and we should also understand what slope means and how to interpret what a higher slope value represents and understanding and plotting of points is also important access scale when you ask to look at graphs why? because uh, in interpreting graphs if you understand its slope in a certain like for example in cryptocurrencies di ba may mga graphs doon so pag alam nyo yung meanings ng bawat slope nila mas makakasabay kayo and mas malaman nyo kung ano yung nangyari and Let's also add that uh, reading is not confined to words, phrases, sentences, and paragraphs. <coughs> reading can also be applied to nonverbal materials such as presenting, interpreting, and analyzing graphs. These graphs are used to easily understand facts and figures called data. So, discuss naman natin yung kinds of graphs. So, first one is bar graph <coughs> so bar graph it uses bars to show data in words or in numbers <coughs> bars can either be horizontal or vertical so commonly see this bar graph sa sa mga um, grading systems natin kasi ito yung nasa picture dito eh. like grade So, excuse me guys. So, common na ni use ang bar graph for grades. <coughs> Next is pie graph. So, pie graph, it looks like a circle of pie. It is divided into fractions to show the relationship of a part to the whole data. So like, ito yung pie graph, um, 
pwede natin siyang gamitin if we if we're gonna budget our foods or we're gonna budge, budget our foods in based on percentage kasi makikita natin dito kung saan tayo mas nag-consume 10% on what which part 20% on which part so pie graph uh, from the word itself pie so ano ba yung pie it is circular and uh, nahahati siya sa mga different parts different fractions depende sa percentage niya and it just requires legends from a specific data so you can use pie graph in any in anything you want depende sa kung saan nyo lang siya gagamitin basta it shows the fractions to show the relationship of a part to the whole data so parang they uh, it separates data to data ganon and next we have is line graph so line graph naman it's, it shows relationship by establishing the development or the trend of the gathered data like for example number of students enrolled in in a specific uh, let's say in a specific group or in a specific school in by yearly like for example 2002 to, 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 uh, 2003 to 2008 so sa in using line graph it can show like for example sa isang school on how many students are being enrolled so dito sa line graph it, sh- it shows data it can be used up and down and uh, makikita nyo rin yung line graph sa stocks stock market pag nag invest kayo in cryptocurrencies yung mga values ng mga SLPs something like that sa Binance dun yun din makikita yung line graph so sa discuss natin sa interpreting graphs tatlong graphs lang uh, which is the most common three which we call uh, the bar graph the line graph and the pie graph and this is important to learn about interpreting graphs so that we can understand graphing which is a fundamental part of algebra and later math courses so interpreting graphs involves understanding what the shape of a curve represents in real life situations an understanding of plotting points is also important so that's all for today thank you for listening i hope na may about interpreting graphs mm-hmm.